Hello, my mystery seekers. I'm Greg with my blog, History Mystery. Today, we're diving into the discussion of a mysterious object from another star system that is flying through our solar neighborhood. And it's not the first. Meet 3 I slash ATLAS, the giant interstellar comet that's reigniting the hunt for cosmic visitors. What is it made of? Could it collide with something? And why do astronomers secretly hope it does? As always, I've got my right-hand guy, Brian, here to help me piece it all together. Brian, take the stage. Thank you, Greg, for setting that stage. I've got the wheel now, and don't worry, I won't crash us. Let's discover what lies behind this mystery and how it shaped the future of human innovation and technological advancement. In the grand velvet theatre of the cosmos, where stars burn like ancient candles and galaxies spin their slow, majestic waltzes across eons, something extraordinary has happened. Not with a bang, nor with a flash of divine revelation, but with the quiet, determined blink of a robotic telescope in Chile. A new traveller has entered our solar neighbourhood, not from the far reaches of our own system, but from beyond, from elsewhere, from a star we may never know, a world we can only dream of. Meet 3i slash Atlas, the third known interstellar wanderer to grace our skies. Not a ghost, not a myth, but a real, tumbling, sunbound comet. A cosmic nomad with no home, no allegiance, and an itinerary written in the cold ink of gravity. It arrived not with fanfare, but with velocity. A blistering 60 kilometers per second, fast enough to cross the Atlantic Ocean in less than a second. If speed were poetry, this would be a haiku of haste. Let us begin with its name, for names are the first spell we cast upon the unknown. 3. I slash Atlas. A title that sounds like a secret agent from a sci-fi thriller. The 3 marks its rank the third confirmed visitor from between the stars. The I stands for interstellar, a badge of honor for any object bold enough to leave its stellar cradle. And Atlas, that's no mythological titan, but an acronym, Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, a robotic network of small but vigilant telescopes designed to spot the sky's incoming threats, the cosmic equivalent of a neighborhood watch with a PhD in astrophysics. One might argue that Attilus sounds a bit too heroic, but alas, the naming gods chose elegance over urgency. Still, credit where it's due, Atlas was looking where no one likes to look, straight into the dense, star-strewn heart of the Milky Way, a region so cluttered with stars it's like trying to spot a single firefly in a fireworks display. And yet there it was, a faint, fast-moving speck betraying its alien origin by its reckless speed. The date was July 1st, 2025. A telescope in Chile, part of the Atlas network, caught a glint of something moving too fast against the backdrop of distant suns. At first it could have been anything. A glitch, a satellite, a trick of the atmosphere. But follow-up observations confirmed the impossible. This was no local asteroid. No dormant comet from the icy outskirts of our system. Its orbit screamed outsider. It wasn't bound by the sun's gravity. It came, it would pass, and it would leave. A celestial tourist with no intention of staying. Astronomers scrambled. They dug through old images, digital archives stretching back weeks, even months. And there, like a ghost in the data, was the same object, already on its way, unnoticed in late May. A dedicated amateur astronomer, scanning the Milky Way for fun, had unknowingly captured the first photograph of this interstellar traveler. The universe, it seems, rewards curiosity even when it's just a hobby. With enough data points, the trajectory was mapped. This wasn't a random flyby. 3i slash Atlas was on a hyperbolic path, a one-way ticket through our solar system. It had crossed the orbit of Jupiter, warmed slightly by the distant sun, and begun to exhale. A faint, fuzzy coma forming around its nucleus, a short tail flickering into existence. It's alive in the cometary sense. Now the big question, what is it? A comet? An asteroid? A lost spaceship wrapped in stardust? The evidence leans heavily toward comet. A giant snowball from another star system. Not just any snowball, mind you, but one between 4 and 25 kilometers across. That's Mount Everest with a cold, or several Manhattans glued together and flung across space. Its size explains why we spotted it early, unlike its predecessor, Umamua, a mere 150 meter long enigma, 3i slash Atlas is a cosmic bus. Hard to miss, 
especially when it starts out gassing, and out gas it does. Modern telescopes have detected the faint halo of gas and dust around it, the telltale sign of a comet warming up. As it nears the Sun, closest approach on October 29th near Mars's orbit, solar radiation is vaporizing its icy crust, releasing plumes of water, carbon dioxide and perhaps even organic molecules, the primordial soup of another world. But here's the kicker. We don't know what it's made of. Is it a pristine relic, untouched by any star, carrying the chemistry of a distant planetary nursery? Or has it been baked before, its surface darkened by eons of stellar radiation like a cosmic raisin? When the James Webb Space Telescope turns its golden eye toward 3i slash Atlas, we may finally see its true colors, or rather, its infrared signature. That's when we'll know if it's a bright, reflective snowball or a sooty ancient wanderer. 3i slash Atlas is not coming close. On December 31st, it will make its closest approach to Earth, but at a safe distance beyond the Earth-Sun separation. No danger, no apocalypse, no need to cancel New Year's Eve. In fact, the only thing it might disrupt is astronomers' sleep schedules. But its path is fascinating. Unlike Oumuamua, which plunged through the solar system at a steep angle, 3i slash Atlas is flying almost in the ecliptic plane the flat disk where planets, asteroids and most comets orbit. It's like a speedboat cutting through a busy shipping lane. And that raises a deliciously violent possibility, a high-speed collision. Imagine this. A 10-kilometer wide icy comet moving at 80 kilometers per s meets a modest 100-meter asteroid cruising in the opposite direction. The impact wouldn't just be a bump, it would be a thermonuclear scale explosion lighting up the night sky with a flash visible from Earth. Astronomers, usually so calm and detached, would weep with joy. Because what better way to study the inside of an alien comet than to blow it up? We've done this before on purpose. NASA's DART mission famously slammed into an asteroid to test planetary defense, but this? This would be nature's own experiment. A cosmic car crash with a front row seat for every telescope on and above Earth. For centuries, we imagined our solar system as a quiet, self-contained family. The sun, the planets, the occasional comet, all born together 4.5 billion years ago and staying more or less in line. But the arrival of 3i slash Atlas and before it, Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov shatters that illusion. We are not isolated. We are part of a galactic ecosystem where stars and their planetary systems occasionally exchange gifts, usually in the form of icy debris flung loose by gravitational encounters. A passing star, a close brush between two stellar nurseries, a rogue planet's gravity, any of these can kick a comet out of its home and send it drifting through interstellar space. In fact, the reverse is also true. Our own Oort cloud, a vast spherical shell of billions of icy bodies surrounding the solar system, is constantly being nudged by passing stars. Some of our comets are ejected into the void, becoming interstellar nomads themselves. Somewhere in a distant future, another civilization might spot our debris and wonder, who threw that? This changes everything it means planetary systems are not closed books they are porous dynamic and interconnected we may even have alien comets in our own backyard objects captured long ago now orbiting the Sun indistinguishable from the locals how many of ours are actually theirs the discovery of 3i slash Atlas is not just a one-off miracle it's a sign that we're getting better at watching the sky Systems like Atlas, Master and others are scanning the heavens every night, hunting for anything that moves, blinks or dares to be different. We missed Oumuamua on the way in. We only saw it as it was leaving. We caught Borisov earlier. Now, with 3i slash Atlas, we've spotted it months before its closest approach. Soon, with next generation observatories like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, we may detect interstellar visitors every year, maybe even every month. What once was a once-in-a-lifetime event could become routine. The galaxy, it seems, is far more social than we thought, and yet we cannot chase them. Not yet. 3i slash Atlas is moving too fast. 70 kilometers per s on its way out. No current spacecraft could catch up. Even if we launched a mission tomorrow, it would be like trying to outrun a bullet on a bicycle. The dream of sending a probe to an interstellar object remains just that. A dream. But perhaps one day we'll be ready.
Perhaps we'll build a spacecraft that waits in the outer solar system, fueled and alert like a cosmic coast guard, ready to intercept the next visitor. So, should we worry? Is 3i slash Atlas a harbinger of doom? No. It is not coming close, it poses no danger, it will not hit Earth, it will not trigger earthquakes, awaken ancient gods, or cause your Wi-Fi to glitch. It is, in the grand scheme, a peaceful traveler, a messenger from the void, but it is a reminder the universe is vast, strange, and full of motion. We are not at the center, we are not isolated, we are part of a cosmic traffic jam that spans light years. And every now and then, a stranger from another star system swings by just to say hello. We may never know where 3i slash Atlas came from. Its path has been bent by stars, clouds, and unseen forces. We cannot trace it back to its home, but we can watch it, study it, and marvel at its journey. One day, perhaps, we'll find one that stays. A captured interstellar object orbiting the sun, a permanent immigrant from another world, and when we do, we'll give it a name, not of acronyms or codes, but of wonder. For now, we raise our telescopes, not in fear, but in greeting. Welcome, traveler. And that's a wrap for today. We hope this presentation was both helpful and inspiring, and that it sparked your curiosity about astrology. If you enjoyed what you heard, be sure to check out more of our podcast. We've got plenty more celestial wisdom coming your way. Got a topic you're dying to explore? Let us know. It'll be my pleasure to dive into it in a future video and answer all your burning questions. Till then, stay curious, stay cosmic, and live your best, most aligned life.